Hey loves, my name is Sasha Bryce and I'm here to guide you through a gentle home yoga practice for the uneasy times that we're in to help you feel more grounded, safe and secure in your body and to boost your immune system and general sense of vitality and well-being. So I suggest, like we do in a yoga studio, to create a space for yourself and actually close your door and um, make yourself feel really comfortable and ready for this practice. Place your phone on do not disturb or airplane mode and let's get started. So the props that I'm suggesting today is a body pillow, just like you sleep on at night, a regular sleeping pillow, and something that you can use for as a strap. So this is my bathrobe belt. You can also use a sock if you have one, and it's not necessary if not. So let's go ahead and get started in Supta Baddha Konasana. If you have your pillow here, we're just gonna start. Of course, if you have a bolster, feel free to use that. We're gonna start with the edge of the pillow just along the base of our tailbone, and keep your knees bent and start to lay back. You can either stay like this, or feel free to let the soles of the feet come together and the knees open wide. Let the palms of your hands open and let your eyes gently close. If you have an eye pillow or something to cover your eyes with, feel free to use that now. I'm just staying here in this position. I'll just sit up to guide you. So as you lay here, start to feel the weight of your body. Feel the weight of your head and your facial muscles relaxing, your jaw soften, and your back body melting into the support beneath you. Feel your hips, your legs, and your feet relaxing into this moment. And start to notice if there's any activity going on in your mind. All the stress of the world, all the unknown things swirling around in our mind. And then just gently bring your awareness back to your body, back to this moment. And anchor your awareness in your breath. As you're laying here, start to observe your natural breath. Anytime we become distracted by thoughts of things that aren't here, just bringing the awareness back into the breath. Anchoring the awareness below the navel point and feel this area start to expand. As this area expands, the rib cage and the top of the chest opens. And let your exhales become longer as you release tension in the body. I'll guide you through square breathing, inhaling for one, two, three, four, pausing with full lungs, and then exhale, two, three, four, pausing empty, begin, inhale, two, three, four, pausing full lungs, and exhale, empty, two, three, four, begin, inhale, two, three, four, keep inhaling, two, three, four, slow exhale, two, three, four, keep exhaling, 
exhaling and pause, two, three, four, begin, inhale, two, three, four, pausing, full lungs, two, three, four, slow exhale, two, three, four, pausing, empty, two, three, four, use your fingers, thumb to each finger and count your inhale, inhaling one, two, three, four, pause, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, pause, empty, two, three, four, begin, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold empty, one, two, three, four, two full rounds on your own. done, just release all effort, bringing yourself into the moment here and feeling your body relaxing. And when you're ready, very mindfully and slowly draw your knees back towards one another. And then just gently roll off your pillow and just remove your pillow off to the side. And we'll find our way flat onto our back. Let your knees rest inwards and place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. So my intention for staying in this pose my intention for today's practice is for you to come back home to yourself. That's what yoga is really all about, is just bringing this awareness back inside. And I thought this quote by Michael Singer, The Surrender Experiment, was very relevant. I decided to just stop listening to all the chatter in my head about my personal preferences and instead start the willful practice of accepting what the flow of life was presenting to me. So in this moment, just feeling this radical acceptance of life as it is, as you bring your awareness back to the breath, back to the body, back to the moment. Take another full breath in, feel the belly rise. Exhale, let it out through the mouth. Beautiful. And from this place, we're just going to draw the thighs in towards the body, holding both the thighs, and start to mobilize the major joints of the body. Start to rotate both ankles in one direction keeping the eyes closed and the awareness inside. And take it in the other direction. Focus the awareness on your ankle joints. Feeling appreciation for our feet that carry us everywhere we go in a day, even if it's just within our own homes. 
And we'll bring our right thigh in towards the chest, holding the shin. Take a deep, full breath. And as you exhale, let go of the left hand and start to rotate your hip, coming into some gentle hip circles. See if you can breathe into the fluidity of this motion, just warming up and releasing tension in the hip joint. Take it in the opposite direction. See if you can stay connected to your own breath. And come back into the center. Interlace your hands around your thigh, holding your hamstrings. And feel your shoulders shimmy down your back and the length of your neck on the mat. As you inhale, start to extend your right leg and feel your right outer hip lengthen away from the body. Even if your leg isn't straight, that's totally fine. Pause with a full breath. And as you exhale, bend your knee forehead towards your knee. As you inhale, create space in your belly. Pause at the top. And as you exhale, curl everything in. Three more on your own, deepest breaths of your day. Your belly expands, creates space. And get as small as you possibly can. Next time your knee is bent, stay here. Use your left hand on the top of your thigh and your right hand just extends out to a T for supine twist. So just allowing yourself, just move this pillow out of the way. Allowing yourself to really rest here. The left leg is relaxed. The chin is either up or facing your right arm. And we just melt. So notice all the areas that you're holding. I like to imagine that I'm just laying out on a sunny, warm, sandy beach. Everything is peachy keen and I can just relax. Bring your mind's attention to any area of the body that you're still holding. Maybe it's your thought or your jaw or your fingers and just relax. And with the next inhale, slowly return yourself back to the center and hold beneath your knee on your shin. Take a deep, full inhale. And as you exhale, we'll massage the ascending colon, squeeze everything in. And when you're ready, just release the body into Shavasana. So just drop everything for a moment, all your ideas of what's happening. Just let go. And then we bring the left thigh in towards the chest, holding the shin. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, open your hip out wide for your hip circles. So let this feel really pleasurable and fluid in your body. Flow with your breath. Massaging any knots or area of tension in your hip joint. And then take it in the other direction. Invite breath. And come
coming back to your center point, interlace your hands around your left thigh, feel your left outer thigh lengthen away from the body. And as you inhale, flex your foot, spread your toes and create space, shoulders away from the ears. Pause at the full breath and then exhale, bend your forehead towards your knee. Inhale, flow with your body. This is your meditation. Three more rounds, deepest breaths you've taken all day. relax down back and let your right hand guide the top of your thigh over for supine twist left arm stretches out to a T and right away let your chin come over looking towards your left stretched out arm totally relax your right ankle and leg find that warm sunny beach and let go of any gripping Notice one point in your body, maybe it's your right shoulder or your toes, and just let that part go. your next inhale return back to your center and your hands are on your shin let's massage our descending colon the process of elimination inhale fill up exhale chin towards the chest forehead towards the knee squeeze it all in and then release the body just drop dropping into this moment and feeling the peace that's possible right here and now. Bend your knees, soles of the feet, hip distance apart, and shimmy your shoulders really under the body so your fingertips are touching the back of your heels. Toes are pointing directly forward we start to move into a bridge flow. As you inhale, you're gonna feel your tailbone draw towards the backs of your knees as your hips start to raise up and off the mat. Feel space in your throat for the air to travel in. And as you exhale, each vertebrae of your spine slowly floats back down to the back. Totally relax at the bottom. As you inhale, feel free to invite your arms with your hips. Palms facing inwards like you're holding a basketball. Pause at the top outer thighs active. Exhale, each vertebrae of your spine floats back down to the mat, relaxing at the bottom. Let your breath be your guide now. Close your eyes and allow this simple movement to be your meditation. Relax any unnecessary gripping in your bum and let your thighs do the work. Just two more rounds. Feel your feet flat on your mat, all four corners grounded. And imagine your heels were stretching your mat away from your chest, opening your heart even more. Inhale, carries 
squeeze you up. Last round, pausing here with your hips up. And now we're going to bring our hands under our hips. Interlace your hands and shimmy the shoulders under the body so the shoulder heads are coming together to meet. Feel your outer thighs activating as if you're holding a block in between your knees. Focus on the breath rising in the belly and rising in the heart. Invite ease here. Feel your feet grounded. And observe the flow of breath. Three more breaths. You guys got this. Inhaling. And exhaling. Two more. Inhale. Fill up your bridge. Last one. We rise together. Inhaling. And exhale. Place your hands on your mat. And as slow as you can, like a paper airplane, let your spine float back down to the mat. And rest your hands over your heart, knees fall inward. And just feel the aliveness of your heart. Feel the peace that's possible inside your own being. One more full breath in. Exhale through your mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> Thighs draw in towards the chest. You can choose happy baby or just holding the backs of your thighs. And just start to massage your back, drawing circles for your lower back or rocking side to side. either rolling to one side to come up or have a bit of fun with rock and roll. Start rolling along the length of your spine, massaging your spine. And we'll come all the way up into a seated position, really nice. Coming into some neck circles, you're just gonna look over your left shoulder, inhale. And exhale, let your chin sweep down and across your chest. Focus on the tip of your nose and imagine you have a paintbrush attached to it, just drawing big circles on a page in front of you. Keep your eyes closed and just enjoy this gentle movement. When you're ready, gently changing direction. Again, keep the mind's awareness on the tip of the nose. And find your way back into the center. Beautiful. As you inhale, sweep your arms up and over your head. Keep your shoulders down your back. We're just gonna let the right hand drop down, coming into a gentle side opener. Inhale, come back up. And exhale over to the other side, feeling your chest spiral open. Inhale, back up. Exhale, bring it into your heart, palms into the center. This is your flow for two more rounds. Inhale up. Exhale over to the side. Nice stretch. Inhale up. Exhale other side. Closing your eyes, keeping the awareness inside. Inhale up. Exhale, bringing this energy into your heart. One more round. Inhale, collecting positive energy around you. Exhale, side stretch. Exhale, other side. Inhale up. And exhale. 
exhale, hands into the heart. We'll come into Nadi Shodhana, so alternate nostril breathing. You want to keep your left hand palm facing open. In Nadi Shodhana, um, we're going to have our thumb and our index finger come together to touch, and our peace fingers on the right hand come in between our eyebrows. Use your fourth finger and your thumb to block all opposite nostrils. This helps balance our nervous system and it's really relaxing, so just give it a try. So we'll start by blocking our right nostril with our right thumb, and you're gonna inhale through the left nostril for one, two, three, four. Block both nostrils, and exhale through the right nostril. Two, three, four. Inhale through right nostril, two, three, four, block both nostrils, and exhale through the left, two, three, four, inhale through left, two, three, four, block both, and exhale through right, two, three, four, inhale through right, two, three, four, block both nostrils, exhale through left, two, three, four, inhale through left, two, three, four, block both, exhale through right, two, three, four, inhale through right, two, three, four, block both, exhale through left, two, three, four, inhale through left, two, three, four, block both, exhale through right, two, three, four, inhale through right, two, three, four, block both, and exhale through left, two, three, four, one more round, inhale through left, two, three, four, block both, exhale through right, two, three, four, inhale through right, two, three, four, block both, and finish up to exhale through left, two, three, four, four. let both palms of your hands face open on your lap, Keep your eyes closed and just acknowledge the flow of air coming in through both nostrils. And then release, beautiful. So we're gonna come into a Supta Baddha Konasana. So you can choose your option here. I like to create space from my hips and my feet, so make it a little wider than usual. If you still have your pillow nearby, you can use it and just bring it over your feet. That's an option. If you have a block, you can place it over your feet. And what we're going to do is just let our hands rest towards our feet and allow the forehead to rest down. So of course, finding a position that feels good for you, you can either hold on to your feet or a gesture of surrender, just let your palms face open. So just get comfortable here. Let your head drape down, even if you're not coming very far, it's totally fine. Feel the weight in your hips and allow your hips to sink back. And just start to feel like you're turning the awareness inside into this tortoise shell 
Feel the back of your heart soften. Maybe some of these areas that are holding stress or tension right now start to open and release. Letting the weight of the body drape forward. And keep bringing the awareness to the exhale breath. Let every exhale breath drop the weight of the upper body forward. Feel your head is totally relaxed. The weight of your head is getting heavier as it melts forward. Feel any thoughts draining out, so they're just emptying out, back into the earth, recycling unnecessary negative energy. Stay present for the last three breaths here, keeping your eyes closed and your awareness inside your own little turtle, turtle shell. Inhale, start to wake back up. It's like a whole new world coming back out. <sighs> Beautiful, draw your legs back together gently. And we'll find our way into a tabletop position. So coming onto our hands and knees. Knees are hip distance apart and hands are directly under your shoulders. Spread your fingers widely apart, as wide as possible, and we'll move through a few rounds of cat-cow. Let your hips, heart, open forward, and stretch the top of the head to the tail in opposite directions with the inhale breath. And as you exhale, curl it in, lift the middle back up, and round the chin in. Move with your breath, three more rounds. Inhale, stretch in the length of the spine. Exhale, curl it in. Open your throat. You can continue to move through cat-cow or keep your eyes closed and just let your body move freely. I call this my little Beyonce move, so you can let your pelvis start to draw circles with your neck. Just let your breath guide your body into free movement. Noticing any cranks, any areas of stiffness, and just being gentle with our bodies. Really nice. We have an option to come into a little stretch out downward facing dog. So you can tuck your toes behind you, keep your fingers spreading wide. Just start to pedal back, dancing dog, I like to call this. So you're just stretching into the back of your heels. Let your head hang out as heavy as possible. Look forward at your hands, make sure they're nice and flat into the ground. And then with your head totally relaxing, you can keep your knees as bent as you need to, to feel that nice length in your spine. And just stay here for about three to five breaths. Really let your head hang out. Every exhale, drawing your Achilles heels back in towards the ground, feeling this grounding presence.
and then releasing your knees back down. Wonderful job. And from here, with our hips and knees exactly aligned, you're going to start to walk your hands forward for our heart melting or puppy dog pose. So rather than child's pose where our hips come back, we keep our hips in line with our knees. And you're either going to rest your chin or your forehead down on the ground. Finding a place where you can settle in and let your belly and your chest melt towards the earth. Really surrendering here. Feel your heart getting deeper in towards the earth. I'll just read our quote one more time as a reminder while you're here. I decided to just stop listening to all the chatter in my head about my personal preferences. And instead, I started the willful practice of accepting what the flow of life was presenting to me. Feel your heart opening to this present moment into the earth, releasing any stress or tension into the ground for the last few breaths here. And then when you're ready, slowly walking back, you're going to open your knees nice and wide, big toes come together to touch, and let your arms rest back towards your feet just for a nice child's pose. Hmm. And slowly coming out of your child's pose. We're going to come onto our backs. So you can just gently roll over. Find your strap if you have it nearby. And we'll have our feet hip distance apart. Cross your right flexed foot over your left thigh. Now this might be enough of a stretch with the external rotation through your hip. Or if you'd like, you can find the window Figure four stretch holding your left thigh. Let the left ankle relax. Right foot stays flexed and shoulders relax down the back. Feel your right hip. You can sometimes tilt from one side to the other to find the place where the right hip gets a good stretch. And just breathe into this right hip. When we're experiencing a lot of fear, we usually hold it in our hips. So this is an opportunity to release some of this held tension fear that you might be experiencing right now. Just simply breathing in and breathing out. Three more breaths here. Follow your breath. And then the last exhale, slowly release. Beautiful job. Bring your feet back hip distance. Now keep your left foot exactly hip distance. And we're going to bring our right foot to tuck behind the left heel. Left hand holds the right foot for a psoas stretch. So I want you to feel your navel drawing into the ground. Both hips are even. 
Left foot planted. Feel both hips even and drawing in towards the back as the right knee falls open. Right arm sweeps up and overhead and you're just gonna look down at the foot that you're holding in your hand. Keep feeling the right knee falling open and both hips are evenly drawing in towards the back. Now we're gonna exhale through the mouth. So start to exhale through the mouth as if you're fogging up a mirror. Make sure your left waist isn't shortening. Lengthen the left waist and draw it in towards the back. Exhale through the mouth, even if it's a bit weird. Close your eyes. We're really balancing the psoas muscle, which connects to the lumbar spine as well as the right femur. And it really contracts when we're in fear. So this pose really helps us come back into a state of balance, releasing fear with every exhale. Keep it going. I know you're all at home and you don't have the insecurity of how your breath sounds. Keep it going. Exhale. Long exhale breaths. Just about 30 more seconds here. You guys are doing great. Keep your left foot planted and your back and navel drawing flat in towards the back as the right knee falls open. Beautiful job. Three more full exhale breaths. And slowly returning into our constructive rest, hands on the lower belly, knees fall inward. And just notice what you're feeling in this moment. Returning to the peace that's possible inside your being. Locating your strap, my bathrobe belt, whatever you got, even a sock. And we're just going to find the sole of the right foot below the ball mount of the big toe. Let your left leg stretch out long. Now your knee doesn't have to be straight. Draw your shoulder blades flat under the body and start to feel an extension in the right leg. Feel the right outer hip lengthening. And this is very grounding, so I want you to feel the back of your right heel into your hip. Without too much effort, it's just like a garden stake and it's being planted into the earth. Feel the weight of your hips and then feel your breath expanding in your lower belly just for about three full breaths. Keep feeling your right thigh externally rotating, the length of your neck. And then on your next breath, we're going to bring both ends of the strap into your left hand. Your right hand, once again, is going to stretch out into a T. And you're going to start to tip over, keeping both shoulders grounded. Maybe you find your pillow, or maybe your leg comes all the way over to the ground. You can shift your hips if that feels comfortable. Now, this is the best stretch for um, preventing and reducing sciatic pain. So we really want to relax the weight of the body. And since we're doing a bit of a passive practice, let your left leg relax. And your chin is either up or over your right stretched out arm. Just melt and relax. Notice if there's any area of your body that's still gripping and then let it go. Your jaw, your toes, your mind. And on the next inhale, we'll slowly return back to the center. Bend your knee, release your strap. 
like we did at the beginning, hold your shin below your knee, massaging our ascending colon where we take in information. I think we all could cleanse that out right now. So let's take a deep, full breath. Exhale, chin towards the chest, forehead towards the knee, squeeze it in. And then just drop into Shavasana. Just let go, just for a moment. Beautiful. Bending your knees, soles of your feet hip distance apart. You can always just touch the tips of your heels. And then we'll cross the left flex foot over the right thigh. Figure four on the other side. Interlace your hands for your right thigh. And feel your right ankle relax. Feel your left hip externally rotating. And then just, you know your body. Find the place where you feel a stretch in your left hip and relax. Make sure your neck isn't like this, but you're feeling the length of your neck and your shoulders away from your ears. Feel your left hip lengthen, your left waist lengthen, and really notice your exhale breath is opening your left hip, kind of like a, a flower that's tightened. Every exhale is like opening it, just like a flower blooming. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breath comes in. Breath comes out. Really letting go of some of that grip we have, that fear we have. And the last breath, slowly exhale, release your feet. This time release your feet mat distance wide, nice and wide. You can let your arms come up overhead and just gently tip your knees over towards the left and then all over towards the right, like windshield wipers. Resetting our pelvis. We come back to the center, walk the feet hip distance apart. This time keep your right foot grounded. Bring your hands back down, and you're just going to hook your left foot behind your right heel. Right hand touches the foot that's hooked, because your left foot is planted. Beautiful. The right foot is planted, sorry, and the left foot is in our hand. Now, right away you're going to notice your right waist wants to shorten and lift. Draw it in towards the back and lengthen it. Left hand sweeps up and overhead. And look down at the foot that's in your hand, that left foot that's in your hand. Notice, see, I was even tipping. You want to draw your hips in towards the back body and keep the belly button drawing towards the mat. Keep the left thigh opening and exhale through your mouth like you're fogging up a mirror. Really exhale through the mouth. This takes effort. We're balancing the major hip flexors in the body, creating a sense of well-being and release from our fear and anxiety. Taking responsibility for your own well-being. Keep exhaling through your mouth. Feel your right foot is planted. So through your mouth. Three more. A 
Imagine this fear and stress leaving your body with your breath. When you're ready, you can slowly return back to the center. Constructive rest, knees fall in, hands on your lower belly. Just feel whatever it is that you feel in this moment in your body. Locate your strap. And we're going to strap the sole of our left foot just below our ball mount of our big toe. Let your right leg stretch out long and feel your left hip lengthening. Beautiful. Shoulder blades down the back and feel your chin drawing in so there's a length in your neck. Once again, remembering this image of a garden post drawing in towards the earth. Feel a grounding sensation as you inhale, fill your lower belly. Exhale, letting go. Three more breaths like this. Creating space with our breath. Then bringing both ends of your strap into your right hand, left arm stretches out, and we start to tip over. You might need to shift as I do so that your leg can come over. Maybe you're supported by a block and your chin is either up or looking over your left shoulder. Remember, this is really good at reducing, whoops, I've opened the closet, um, sciatic pain. So just melt in here, close your eyes, and find a place that feels comfortable for you. Notice if there's one point in your body that's tense, and see if you can release it. Relax your jaw, relax your toes and your shoulders. And when you're ready on your next inhale, you can come back up to the center and bend your knee, release your strap, hold your shin for our descending colon. Let's massage it, inhale. Belly, chest, exhale, squeeze and curl it in, forehead towards your knee and then dropping into Shavasana, just letting go. And when you're ready, making yourself comfortable. So if you still have your pillow, bringing it just below your knees, and you're just gonna, just checking the time there, so below your knees, under your thighs, Take a moment to shimmy your shoulder blades under the body. This is our final resting pose. If you have something to cover your eyes, feel free to do so. And let the palms of your hands face open. And just start to melt in here. Once again, feeling the weight of your body just resting. Give yourself permission to be exactly as you are in this moment. There's nothing to fix or change or alter about yourself or anyone or anything. Just rest into the support beneath you. And just feel how supported you are. Final quote, again by Michael Singer. Sometimes it takes a few times to sink in. I decided to just stop listening to all the chatter in my own head 
about my personal preferences. And instead, I started the willful practice of accepting what the flow of life was presenting to me. So just see if it's possible to accept in this moment exactly life as it is. And just practice radically resting into the present moment. Feeling this sense of relief that you are exactly where you need to be. And that everything is exactly as it needs to be, even if our personal preferences don't agree. Just feeling that sense of trust. from Shavasana, starting to bring your awareness to your sense of listening. Outside of the chatter of your own mind, start to hear sounds maybe in your house. Hearing the sound of my Koshi, koshi chime. Gently bringing your hands back to your body and feeling this home that you have within your own being. Regardless of external chaos, you can always return to this place. Starting to notice your breath. to your right side using your right arm as a pillow and taking your time to slowly press both hands up into a seated position just to finish our practice. Feel your palms facing open on your lap. Take three breaths with me, just inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling, last one, inhaling, deepest breath of your whole entire day. Exhale, letting it go. Bringing your hands together in front of your heart, bowing your chin towards your heart as a gesture of humble gratitude. 
And then bringing to mind a sense of gratitude and just one thing that you want to say thank you for in this moment. Thank you to your health. Thank you to your home. Thank you to whatever it is you feel grateful for right here and now. And thank you guys so much for practicing with me today. Again, if you don't know me, my name is Sasha and I would absolutely love to connect with you. I wish you the most wonderful day. Namaste.